Hey, g'day everyone, Luke here from FDN Motion. And I'm Kendall and we're just here to give you a bit of an update on what we've been up to since the last video. Uh, it's been a busy few weeks getting um, these beta bikes ready. Uh, we've just last week put our first uh, bike together um, which was used for brake testing just out the back of the workshop. Um, we got together with NZTA and got our bike compliant. Um, it was a bit of a learning curve because obviously the first time we've worked with NZTA and actually the first time they've uh, complied a, a moped. Yeah, since then we've been busy getting the next beta bike ready, which we just delivered to the airport today. So that's on display at Wellington Airport. Um, and now we're just getting into the plan of smashing out the next 10 bikes for the beta customers. And should have them all out the door sort of towards the end of October. Yeah, pending a uh, few uh, components that are stuck in various places, such as the battery cells still stuck up in Auckland at the moment and a couple of little components still on the way from China. We've designed these, this round of beta bikes with the intention of um, when it goes into a bigger production run, um, we've tried to make things as modular as we can um, to make the assembly process easier. So examples would be the front end of the bike can be entirely bolted up in isolation and kept ready for when it's needed in the final assembly process. The way we've built the frame is in a similar fashion. When there's no cladding or fairings on the bike, it looks almost like a step-through scooter frame. But once the body's dropped in, we have a bolt-in section of frame that drops inside the body and bolts in and gives the structure to the bike. So that body can be painted, assembled, hinges can be fitted, electronics fitted, and it can just be dropped in the last bit of the assembly. Um, other modular bits are obviously the battery drops straight in, the seat drops in with a couple of bolts and that's ready to go. And yeah, so we're just trying to think forward to when we're in production. Um, so the most surprising thing about the production process is probably being just how quickly we've run out of space. Uh, we're in a pretty tight space and um, yeah, even though we're only building 10 bikes here, it's just pretty quickly filled up and had to get really creative with storage to make sure we don't end up with things all over the floor. So yeah, really looking forward to moving into the, the bigger workspace and um, yeah, excited to get a proper setup and um, yeah, really organize our shelving and just get these systems working like a well oiled machine. It's quite surreal this morning installing the bike into the airport because it's been, I know it's a big milestone, it's been quite a, it's been a few years in the making finally getting getting these bikes out to, to everyone and being able, being able to have all the public to come into the airport and just see it on display is pretty awesome and we just can't wait to get these next 10 out and see packs of wild street dogs roaming around Wellington. So the biggest challenges so far, uh, a lot of it's just been with getting these first couple uh, sorted and really just uh, refining all of our jigs and the processes. Um, a lot of it, a lot of the time, the unexpected time we've spent has been on finishing processes. So yeah, really looking to refine that and also just tolerances that we haven't got quite, quite right, so a lot of time refining those. Another challenge has been working with a lot of small 3D printed parts for our non-critical components. Uh, yeah, 3D printers provide a really convenient and affordable way to get designs from the computer onto the bike um, in a really short time span. But looking forward to um, getting to that stage where we can use injection molded parts what has been going really well though through these first few assemblies is um, just how just once we've had everything prepped, they've come together really quickly. I mean, we just completed our first full bike um, for the airport and put the, the whole thing together in a day, a very long day, but got it together. 
yeah, really, really happy uh, with how it's going and excited to see just how it's going to keep improving as we go. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for um, tuning in to see what we're up to. If you're excited about what we're doing, I definitely recommend getting down to the Wellington Airport to check out the bike in real life. And if you want more information, then drop Michelle a line or, or jump on our website, ftnmotion.com. And until next time, see you later. Cheers.